Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I recorded a really good makeup geek tutorial using um, some of my new shadows. You'll see it on Instagram. If you want to find me, I'm at LeahXL on Instagram. And I used these amazing um, tearly colours, greeny colours, and um, I deleted the video. By mistake, not on purpose, obviously. And I'm gutted. I'm, I'm thoroughly, thoroughly gutted because it was such a good look and I don't even know if I'd be able to replicate it. So, instead of doing that, I thought I'd try something different today and use some of the other Makeup Geek shadows. Um, I will... Will I only use Makeup Geek? Sorry, I just... I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I'm only going to use the Makeup Geek ones. Um, and I'm going to go for sort of a burnt red, orange... A warm look using burlesque and possibly uh, drama queen um, with frappe and I can't remember what this one's called god it's so bad isn't it mocha I should know the color um, and just a few of the other sort of browns and the neutrals here but make it a bit more red and um, that one unfortunately is star violet by Mac so I'm not going to use that the only matte color that I will use is blank type in the corner because I didn't want to buy something similar there wouldn't be any point. So um, first of all, I am actually going to, it's a get ready with me sort of video as usual, and I'm going to use my um, Universal Fit Foundation along with my All Day Liquid Foundation. Um, mix these two together at the minute. Trying to use them both up. Um, I'm not a fan of either of them on their own, but actually together they, they sort of work quite nicely on my skin. So um, the Universal Fit one, I love the actual foundation, Really, really lovely foundation, but it's just the wrong colour. And the um, All Day Liquid Foundation is too matte for my skin, so it's a li little bit drying. So um, I use a beauty blender. The one from um, Makeup Revolution is currently my favourite. Um, and I feel like it's the right colour for me. Slightly light. I mean, when I'm putting it on, you can see it's slightly lighter than my skin tone, but I do end up warming it up. You may notice as well that I'm really puffy around the eyebrows because I plucked my eyebrows and um, it's just such a chore. They all sort of grow back at the same time and all of a sudden it's like, bam, there's your eyebrows, Leah. And there they were. So um, I wanted to talk to you as well. This is sort of a really chit chat get ready with me because I wanted to ask your um, advice. And, you know, you guys that watch my channel are... Um, always offering me good advice. Not only do you offer me good advice, you always um, confirm what I think is a good idea. So, um, as you know, I did palette Tober, and I want to do that again this year because it was really good fun. Different palettes, especially as I've got quite a few or something like that. It may not be daily videos in that one. It might be something else. I don't know. But I love the idea of theming my months, and I want to do the whole of next year, so I need to plan it out. Um, and I thought I'd do something to do with being skint in January, so skintuary maybe, or um, savuary, or something where we talk about using the stuff that we got at Christmas, or you know, really going into doing looks. And again, it will be um, the looks that I'm doing. Um, you know, I'm not a professional, but I enjoy makeup, and I think that counts for something because. You know, people are always commenting on how they like my makeup. It turns out I can't do anybody else's. I've I've tried and, and you know, I can if they look like me. <laughs> so if they have the same sort of um, eye shape, etc. Um, I don't have hooded eyes and Claire does. And I struggled to work out how to do anything with it. Isn't, they're not quite hooded, are they? They, they are a little bit while they're swollen. Look, uh, if I bring them down because um, they're very sore. Because <laughs> of black in my eyebrows with having thick hair, it means I have very thick eyebrows as well. I'm using the Avon, um, what's it called? I keep forgetting. Uh, cream concealer. It's just a little pot and it's amazing. If you're looking for a good um, under eye concealer that doesn't crease and doesn't fall into your fine lines then that's a really good one and it does brighten up I have to say I really like it so I definitely recommend that um, and to set that I'm going to use my oh gosh I'm going to use a brush that's in here let's use I'll use this one what does this look like has it got stuff on it probably um, 
use this little brush here and I'm just going to use the banana type powder um, just to set that that's in my ultra contour palette which I'm going to have to get a new one of at the moment I'm um, running out of all of my favorites look ah, I've really used it there's not many products that I've used like that I have to say um, <clears throat> so yeah um, so something like Savuary or Skintuary or something like that. And then in February, um, I've approached Freedom Makeup and asked it. I mean, <clears throat> I'm not looking for, you know, free products or anything. What I'm looking for is just to see if they will allow me to use it as Freedom February. And um, Freedom is one of my favourite brands alongside Makeup Revolution. They are one and the same really, but I do find that some of their products are different quality. Um, so yeah, I really, it's weird. I like them both. I really like them both quite a lot. I've just realized I don't have a blush. Oh well, we'll go with them. Um, we'll just warm up the face with some bronzer. And I'm going to use a big old brush for the bronzer. And I'm going to do my sweeping across the three bronzers you know because one of them they're just together they make such a good color and i'm going to put that and warm up the, the face i'm really um going for a warmer look today that's nice It's just an easier way to contour without having to really define. It's just like a slight contour, but it also means I don't need to use a blusher. Um, and then I'm going to use the um, highlighter shade in here. My favourite shade at the moment, this lovely peachy shade. It's just so um, natural and lovely and just gives me that tiny bit of glow, which I really like. Without making me look bruised. Does that make sense? Some of them make me look really bruised. Um, and Claire's often said, no, what's on your face? You look really battered, which isn't, which isn't fun. <laughs> and I'm going to just take the matte highlight here and run that down my nose and on my chin just to contour slightly, but without having it too shimmery. So there you go. That's, that's the sort of face done. Oh, um, and then I'm going to take a setting powder which is in here, which is just a luminous setting powder, the Java Rice powder by um, and also I haven't announced my winner yet because the person that I contacted has not contacted me so I may have to re-draw um, the winner of my giveaway, the one where you're winning all my stuff and um, if they don't respond by sort of this evening and by the time you see this video, it'll be a bit later. Um, yeah, I'm just going to have to redraw that, which is a shame because it's such a good prize and I feel like they're missing out. So if you, you know, if it was you and you're one of my subscribers and you've just not checked your inbox on time, you know, you knew when the end date was and I feel so awful that you've missed it. I contacted, I may just do a quick shout out on, on Twitter just to make sure that they haven't I contacted them via email just to because it was easier but it may be that I have to go through Twitter they maybe don't check their emails so I'm going to use the um, on and on bronze as a base once again as usual um, just trying to finish this up now and I've got a lot of color tattoos that I need to get through so I won't be repurchasing this for a while but when all of those are finished. This one and the um, pink gold will definitely be on my repurchase list. And I just used this. I've already used a primer on um, it was sort of underneath my... Oh, here we go. Hold on. I'm back and it was just the postman. So <laughs> I thought I'd quickly see what it was. And I got a parcel um, from a lovely young person who contacted me young person they might not be young a lovely person that contacted me on facebook no instagram and asked if i would review the unique lip stains on my channel and i haven't i didn't have much luck with their mascara i did a blog post about that um it just wasn't for me my eyelashes 
don't suit that mascara at all. Sorry, I just ran up the stairs. <laughs> I always do that when I'm filming. Oh, I'll just run up and then press film. That's clever, Leah. Um, and then um, I found that um, the pigments, even using them wet and dry, didn't really show up. So it was such a shame because I wanted them to be amazing and they weren't, basically. Um, anyway... Right, let's have a look. What am I doing? So, shadows. <laughs> I forgot where I was and what I was doing. So, starting with the um, blank type by MAC, just to lay a sort of base down for my eyes, just to give it that sort of back to base. Back to base, I feel like that sounds like a... A 90s dance triple volume CD or something back to base. God, when I am um, in the 90s, I was very much into the old sort of R&B, and we used to call it swing, it was called pure swing back then. It wasn't called R&B, and I don't even know if it's called R&B now, but um, it sort of moved on. And I had like there was a, a CD, a volume called. Pure Swing, and um, my favourite was Pure Swing 4, which is in a blue case, and I was really into that sort of music. Needless to say, Claire has never heard of any of the tracks that I sort of put out there to her, like, oh, do you remember this? She's like, no, I have no idea what you're talking about. And I just feel so silly. I'm like, oh, okay, all right then. Um, I need a nice uh, fluffy-ish brush, there we go, to do the crease. And I'm going to use Frappe, which is this lovely warm-toned, matte um this one here matte brown like caramel color i'm going to use that in the crease um i'll get as close as i can for you because i don't have zooming capability um you know who knows what santa might bring i know it won't be a camera um maybe you know the, the day that i can afford a camera that does, you know, all great things and, and a MacBook to to then get it uploaded and really good internet. <laughs> the day that all of that happens will be, oh gosh, years, years and years. It'll be a long time yet. So, you know, that is, it's a shame, but you guys don't mind. I think we've been through this together, filming the same way, using the same sort of lighting. Um... And I don't think you really mind. I think if you really minded, you wouldn't be watching for, and you wouldn't subscribe. And honestly, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for staying with me through these tough times. <laughs> One day we'll look back over this these videos when I get them all, you know, all professional like the, the real YouTubers, unlike me. Um, and we'll go, what was I doing? What was she doing? You know, we've all got to start somewhere, hey? So, oh just got something from the mirror so um just using mocha to sort of deepen that up a bit just in that that part of the eye just in the cre in that part of the eye in the crease later come on let's be technical about it in that part <laughs> and i'm going to take the shadow what's this lovely one here <gasps> oh whatever it was it's fallen out roulette and it's like a burnt coppery colour just here that I've dropped out of here and I'm going to use this brush to pick it up it's a lovely burnt coppery colour actually really nice let's see how this goes on because I was oh okay <laughs> very similarly to the other shadow that I used um, when I filmed the other video but you didn't see it it's like the most intense pigment ever I mean, I just can't get over it. I mean, the, the shock was much more real in the last one. I still can't get over this, to be fair. It's um, pretty intense. I mean, look at that. If you're looking for a coppery toned look, you need look no further than the roulette. Am I? I'm dabbing the brush in. So this is like sort of how much I dabbed the brush in. Just dabbed, didn't scrape, just dabbed it in. And like, look at that. 
I mean, what's that about? That's that's pretty mental. It's very bright. Um, they're so... I would say they're true to colour, but even more so when you put them on your eyes. Like when you swatch them, they're lovely, but it's not like when you put them on your eyes. I don't feel like that's the same thing. So I'm going to mix this up a bit and I'm going to take that colour burlesque, which is sort of like a reddy purple. Will it go? Who knows? But let's try it. Let's give it a go, shall we? And I'm just going to put that on the sort of outer V of the eye. Oh my goodness, it's so gorgeous, that colour. I would definitely consider using that all over the lid in a smoky eye. So a really beautiful ooh, colour. Um, wow, okay. It is incredible. This is... Ah, what have I done? I had some on my finger. What am I doing? Oh, Leah, honestly. Dear me. That was, that was fun. I'm going to blend that out because it's looking quite... Uh, with my eyebrows being really puffy, this hasn't worked as well as I'd hoped. They're really sore and they're really swollen. So it's difficult to get a nice seamless line because there's actually like a swollen lump there. But you sort of get the drift, don't you? I think. So I've put that just on the outer edge there. You can see that. And I'm going to do the same on the other side if I can find the brush. No, that's not the brush. That is though. Um, and again with burlesque. I think burlesque would be so pretty on the lid on its own. I really do. I think that is stunning. Such a lovely colour. I don't know why I'm opening my mouth to do this. This is um, a new one for me. It's a new... <laughs> so just blending that side. Blending that side. I love these LMY brushes for blending. Um, it was Nicole from Young Wild and Polish that sort of told me about them, the fact that she'd found it on eBay and they were from Australia and they're just immense. They're incredible. Um, oh, just got a wipe to sort of clean this brush off. And then I'm going to use, what was it, Drama Queen, which is like a dark purple. Do need to tap these off they're very um intense and i'm just going to put that sort of on the lower edge just on the corner and on the lower edge i'll just show you what i'm doing just sort of here and then into the outer v but not as far along as the other one just using it to deepen that edge up. You can see that there. Now, you're probably screaming, why are you using a purple colour with a warm-toned copper? Well, who knows? The answer is, I don't know. I thought it would go. I thought it would be quite nice, quite different. And it is that. <laughs> it's very different. Wow, that is a very interesting look. Just like my vocab there, my interesting vocab. Let's use the blending brush to blend those through. And the same on this side. That copper colour is so incredible. It's beautiful. It's lovely. Now I really need to add a bit more of the um, pale colour to this. Um, just to blend it out slightly. I'm going to use this brush. A fluffier brush. I'm going to use that in the blending part of the eye just to sort of make it less defined. And the same on this side. At the moment that's a lot darker than I'd like it to be but it's because of the swelling. So there we go. Okay. That's very coppery isn't it? Um, I'm going to do um, some eyeliner. I don't know whether it's going to be winged or not because it is a liquid eyeliner. So I'm going to use that on the upper lash. Actually, I'll do it after my mascara because I'm going to put on... No, I'm not. I'll do it before. I was going to put on fake lashes, but do you know what? I don't want to. It's a bit too much really for this time of day. So I'm just going to take... This is the P40 
PS Love liquid eyeliner and it is so good and I think it was a pound and out of all the liquid eyeliners that I've bought recently this has got to be standout and I think it's because of the brush it's just really it's more a brush than it is um, a felt tip I found I find felt tips really hard to use I'm going to try and do a yeah a winged eyeliner it's a lot easier to use one of these than it is a um Pencil sometimes. Oh, quite a big winged liner there, and the same with the other side. Let's see if I can do this one as good. Probably not. Who knows what happens in my life? You saw the big fail that happened uh, in one of my other ones i'll try and link that for you in a card up here somewhere because it was quite funny people felt sorry for me they were like oh we've, we've all been there we've all put on our eyeliner and fluffed up as much as you have yeah yeah i believe them but yeah slightly easier with this uh eyeliner it's really easy to control I think because it's got such a little like short wand so I'm just going to let that dry because obviously with this with it being so liquid it's not easy there we go Ooh. now I'm going to do something I don't normally do and I know I should so I'm going to set my eyeliner I'm going to use a thin sort of tipped brush and I'm going to take carbon where's my Oh, there it is. I'm going to take Carbon by MAC and set my eyeliner with that. It helped it to stay. It makes it less um, likely to smudge. And it's just a way of making it look a little less... Um, it helps it to look like a, a more sharper line as well. Like, you're not sort of filling in any gaps where the um, eyeliner didn't go. There we go. Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> oh, Leah, that was a reference nobody under the age of 50 is going to get. And the same on this side. If you've got grandparents... You'll know what I'm talking about. Just ask who Tommy Cooper is. They'll know. There you go. I've just set that with that dark one. And I'm going to take Mocha and I'm going to run that under my eye mixed with the black because I like to have like a dark brown liner. If you're going to put black liner on your top lashes, it's better to use a darker brown underneath because it makes your eyes look bigger just by altering the colour slightly. Same on this side, just mixing the two. I'm just putting it, oh I can't see, there we go. Let's see if I can get closer for you guys, just under the eye here. Again with the weird open mouth thing. We need to get over that, don't we? So many people look so nice when they're doing their makeup. If you watch any other tutorials, you see people do their makeup and they look really pretty. Me, I look like gormless. I look a bit gormless. I think that's the phrase we can use. I'm just going to take Shimmer Shimmer, which is such a good highlighting um, colour. And I'm just going to take that under there and put it in the inner corner just to brighten up the inner eye there we go shimmer shimmer is just stunning i was so pleased that it was available when i ordered um there we go i'll just put a little bit more actually i just really want it to stand out here we go
there we go so okay that's not such a bad look so bright i haven't put any mascara on yet that's going to help isn't it um i'm going to pop on my mascara and i'm using the lancome hypnose mascara because I, I don't know where my baby doll one's gone but this one is at the moment my favorite mascara ever i haven't used one as good as this before it was a sample i got um from who was it from debenhams when i made an order and i no no it wasn't it was from boots they did their um they did a little gift bag it was a while ago now with purchase might have even been last year that's how long ago oh, typical as soon as i do my mascara my nose runs um and i have to say it's so soft and lovely to put on doesn't make your eyelashes crispy like the baby doll does. It's like putting hairspray on your lashes, that baby doll one, by YSL. I don't know why people rave about it. Maybe because it does make your eyelashes stay. Um, but I feel like this really clings to the lashes. Um, I tell you who would like this. Mrs Ginger. Karen from Mrs Ginger's channel. She would like this. It reminds me of the um, Laura Mercier one which I do like and I haven't used for years and I might repurchase it. Um, the Laura Mercier Long Lashes. I used to love that one. I had a sample and then I ended up buying it and that was my mascara of choice for quite a while. I just, this is so beautiful for my lashes. Just look at them. They look so long. I love this. I love this mascara and I'm gutted that it will be finished soon. So for the face for the face for the lips even i'm going to use a new lipstick it's creamy caramel by nyc and it's a expert last lipstick i got it for a pound um and i like that it's like a a brownie pinky nude yeah it's just a really pretty nude and it feels really nice on the lips. So there you have it. I know I look a little bit low down. It's because I'm sat on the edge of the bed to try and get closer. Um, just makes it a bit easier. Anyway, that is the look using the Makeup Geek shadows. I'm really sorry that the other look isn't there. I might have to recreate it. It was so good. Um, I'm definitely going to do a purple look and then I may recreate that one. I'd also like to create a look using Club by MAC. I've never used it yet. I haven't had the inkling to yet so we'll see anyway i shall catch up with you all later thank you so much for joining me again subscribe if you haven't already give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and comment down below if you've got anything to say look look what look forward to seeing my next video bye guys